Welcome to Clean Tech. In today's video I will be discussing and sharing Steve Jobs' announcement about the Apple Car and what we know so far. Dot. But first, I would just like to welcome you to Clean Tech. This is a channel where we share the latest news, rumors, and insights into all things to do with tech. You'll be able to find news surrounding all tech products and more. Really appreciate it if you could please like and subscribe. Also I just wanted to announce as we are a new channel which is growing by the day, we will be launching a giveaway for a $50 Amazon gift card. All you have to do to enter is like and subscribe. The giveaway winner will be announced in due course. Now let's carry on with the video. In 2014, Apple began working on Project Titan, with upwards of 1,000 car experts and engineers developing an electric vehicle at a secret location near the company's Cupertino headquarters. The Apple Car project has shifted and changed multiple times over the course of the last several years due to internal strife and leadership issues, but development is on track. Though 2016 rumors suggested Apple had shelved plans for a car, by 2020, it was back on. Apple is now to be working on a fully autonomous self-driving vehicle that will not require user intervention to drive, going further than any other car manufacturer to date. It's a highly ambitious project, and rumors indicate that Apple wants to design a car with no steering wheel and no pedals. Apple's AI and machine learning chief John John Andrea is heading up the Apple Car project, and Kevin Lynch, known for his work on the Apple Watch, has also joined the car team and it's said to be largely responsible for Apple's push toward a self-driving car. There is a high-powered Apple-designed chip in the Apple Car, and it is the most advanced component that Apple has developed to date. It's made from neural processors that can handle the incredible AI load needed for autonomous vehicles. TSMC is expected to manufacture the chip, and that's the same company that makes chips for the iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Because Apple has no experience with car manufacturing, it will need partners to produce the vehicle, and Apple is said to be working on securing partnerships in the automobile industry. It is not yet known who Apple will work with, but it has held discussions with Hyundai and other companies. The Apple Car has been described as Apple's next star product, with Apple able to offer better integration of hardware, software and services than potential competitors in the automotive market. The Apple Car is likely to be marketed as a very high-end model or significantly higher than a standard electric vehicle. In June of 2017, Apple CEO Tim Cook spoke publicly about Apple's work on autonomous driving software, confirming the company's work in a rare candid moment. Apple doesn't often share details on what it's working on, but when it comes to the car software, it's harder to keep quiet because of regulations. We're focusing on autonomous systems. It's a core technology that we view as very important. We sort of see it as the mother of all AI projects. It's probably one of the most difficult AI projects actually to work on. Apple CEO Tim Cook on Apple's plans in the car space. Since early 2017, Apple has been testing self-driving vehicles on public roads in California, using several 2015 Lexus RX 450H SUVs leased from Hertz. The SUVs have been spotted on the streets of Cupertino host of sensors and cameras as Apple prepares its self-driving software, and testing has ramped up over the years. Apple has more than 60 test vehicles out on the road. Apple is aiming to launch its autonomous car by 2025, but given the ambitious nature of the project, it might not make that target date or could ultimately see the project delayed. We still have years to go before an Apple car is ready to debut, and we'll likely hear much more about the project as Apple will need to seek deals with a whole new set of supply chain partners in order to manufacture a vehicle. Apple is refocusing its car project around a self-driving vehicle that will require no interaction from the driver, a goal that other car manufacturers like Tesla have yet to achieve. Apple was pursuing two vehicle paths, one with limited self-driving capabilities and a second with full self-driving functionality, and Apple has now decided to pursue the second path under the leadership of Kevin Lynch. Apple wants to design a vehicle that does not have a steering wheel or pedals, with an interior focused on hands-free driving. In this car, riders sit along the sides of the vehicle rather than in standard front and back seats. Apple may not be able to remove the steering wheel, however, as it could be useful to have available in an emergency situation. 
With no steering wheel, there would also be no need for foot pedals for controlling acceleration and braking, so it's possible that Apple could also leave these out. It's not yet clear if Apple's ambitious design plans will pan out, so it could ultimately be more similar to a traditional car. In order to release a vehicle without a steering wheel or brake pedal, Apple hoped to get exemptions from the U.S. National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Apple is aiming for an ambitious design that is unlike any existing car, according to a report from The Information. Former Apple design chief Joni Ive is involved with the project as a consultant, and he believes the Apple car team should lean into the weirdness of the vehicle's design and not try to hide its sensors. The car is said to feature four seats that face inward, allowing passengers to have face-to-face -face conversations with one another, plus it has a curved ceiling that resembles the roof of a Volkswagen Beetle. Apple designers are testing a trunk compartment that raises up for easy access and then lowers back down when not in use. The designers have also considered large seat back screens that raise and lower. Apple has considered designs with a large iPad-like touchscreen in the middle of the vehicle, which would not be too dissimilar from the design of Tesla vehicles. Users would be able to interact with the central panel, and it would be integrated with Apple's current devices and services. The processor that's in development for the car was created by Apple's Silicon Engineering Group, which has also created the processors for the M1 Max, iPhones, and other devices. Bloomberg describes this chip as the most advanced component that Apple has designed internally. It's said to be made up of neural processors that are able to handle the artificial intelligence requirements of autonomous driving. The chip runs out, and may need a sophisticated internal cooling system. An analyst suggested the chip could be called the C1, and could perhaps be based on the A12 Bionic processor. Safety is a major focal point in the design of the Apple car. Apple wants to create a safer vehicle than companies like Tesla or Waymo, and so engineers are building in redundancies and backup systems that will kick in to avoid driving system failures. Removing the steering wheel of the vehicle may ultimately be impossible if Apple wants to make the vehicle as safe as possible for drivers. Thanks so much for watching till the end. Please like, comment and subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you never miss a video. I would really appreciate it if you do this as it really helps support the channel. We share the latest news, rumors, and insights into all things Apple. You'll be able to find news surrounding all Apple products including iPhones, iPads, Apple Watches, Apple TV, Macs, MacBooks, Apple TV and more. So make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Until next time, see you later.